can't do anything. I appreciate that so much, for real. I started coming over. I started coming over to the UK back in 2018, and um, I look around and I actually see a lot of the faces that I met back in 2018. And for a long time, I have more fans over here than I did at home. And I'll tell you what, I really do think that it started here. Though. It started here, and I just want to say thank y'all so much. This was the first time that that I ever came anywhere and I felt like totally embraced. You know, I didn't get looked at funny for the bell bottoms and a big old hat. Y'all just, y'all made me feel right at home, I'm telling you. Y'all caught on a lot sooner than the States did, so. <laughs> but I just appreciate that so much and I will never forget that. And as long as y'all keep wanting us to come over here, we will keep coming and that is the problem, so I promise you. Country music. Country music is, it's my life. I eat, sleep, and breathe it, and um, I love it so much. And I, the reason I love it is because of those stories that it tells. I mean, my goodness, I grew up on specifically 90s country music, and um, I mean, it was songs like, you know, Strawberry Wine, and it was, <laughs> Strawberry Wine was actually one of the songs that inspired me to write Watermelon Moonshine, you know. I, my song when I was 16 was Strawberry Wine, you know. Everybody needed one of those kind of songs and I was thought, man, how cool would it be to kind of have a song like that for this generation of country music and so um, that's what inspired me and so every single time I sing Watermelon Moonshine, I feel like it's only appropriate for me to sing a chorus of Strawberry Wine. Can we do that just once? Sweet. 